Hello, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to make the dragon by Robot Neil. What you want to do is you're going to start off with a bug base, but if you don't know how to make a bug base you can check out one of my other videos. Right, so now we're going to start off by folding the flaps down and then folding this point down to the bottom. Just in half. The, ha the bottom of this line, sorry. Right, and then we're going to unfold that and then we're going to just pull in the bottom parts just like that and can you see this square in the middle here you just want to go along that and crease it just so you Once you've done that, it should show, and you just want to put that inwards and squash it in. So once you've done that, you'll have this, and you just want to fold these corners up the top down like that. And it will be going like that. It won't be going down any more than that. So it shouldn't go down any more than that line at the kite. So you'll have something like that and once you do you just want to fold the flaps upwards again and you want to fold this part here upwards on the line and you only have to crease to the middle because we're going to do rabbit ears but if you want to you can just go all the way it won't really do anything so you have this line here and you want to do the same going this way again it doesn't matter if you crease the whole thing and what you're going to do here is you're just going to push down on the creases the bottom creases and you're going to fold that bit up like that, and then do it on the other side. So, fold it down, fold it up, then just squash it. So, you have this, and these parts here will just be the wings and what you want to do now is you want to open up here and fold it upwards and just squash it like that so you should have two flaps here on the inside the outside should just be one line and I used to always get stuck at this bit because I used to fold it the wrong way but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to start once you've folded it upwards you just turn it upside down and what you have to do here is we're gonna we're just here we're just taking this line to this side 
like this and then squashing that's the best way I can describe it it's called a reverse fold like that so just like that and now what we want to do is we want to open up here and we're going to fold this bottom line to this line and you have to squash that there and this is a leg and turn it over and do the same on this side see th this is the reason you wanted to turn it upside down because here now you can open it up but if you done that and done it here it'd be on this side here so now you can do things with that and we do the exact same thing in this part if you want to push the wings over to this side you can so we're just folding it up turn it upside down don't forget to squash it and do you remember it has to be open here the flaps and we do the reverse fold And then we fold the sides up to the line. Right, now we've got the basic shape of the dragon. Now, if you want to fold the wings up, you can fold them up any way you want. Because I just fold them directly up, but you could say you wanted to make folds in the wings like that. You can do that. Now we're going to fold down these bits here. These are the legs. make good creases because it starts to get a bit thick I prefer to do this with a bit bigger paper because it looks better but try to do this with printer paper and you can't see the creases and so there now for the head you just fold this directly up that and then fold down just like the crane then you fold it back up again to make a hole and it can be any shape you want you don't have to put it there you could fold it so it's right in the middle or right at the end like that it's your choice I prefer to have it there though. It looks better with bigger paper though. And for the tail, you could do anything you want. You could just fold it directly up. Like that. But you could make crimps. I'm terrible at them. <laughs> right, so just like that. And you can just make it the way you want to make it. You could change the wings, you could even change the legs by opening them up and squashing that like that. So just make your own dragon and make a video response show me yours 
and hopefully you made it also give me any suggestions for any origami you want me to make a video on and see you next time